Hi again, Mr. G here with LOL Love Love Letters. And today is our DSG assignment, Drawing Simple Graffiti. So I'm gonna take you guys through steps of drawing simple graffiti today, and then we're gonna embellish that a little bit and add some color to it. First of all, I wanna tell you about the materials that we're gonna need for today. We are going to need a ruler again. We are going to need a pencil again. We will need an eraser. We will use colored pencils this time and we will use our trusted friends, Mr. Sharpie. I'm going to draw on a full piece of paper, two lines. These are gonna be my registration lines and these will help me start to make my letter forms. So we're gonna get started. Um, I wanted to ask you guys to either pick your name or a word that means something to you. Um, I picked the word determined um, and I'm gonna start blocking that out for you right now, okay? And again, we're gonna start off the same way that we started off in the last lesson plan that we did. And we're just going to write out our letter forms. And we're gonna do that in single line uh, style to start off with. So I'm just getting an idea. of where my letter forms are gonna be and start to map them out. And you're not gonna worry about weight of line so much now or how big the letters are. You're gonna get a chance um, to go back and do that later. So I'm going to... And now I'm gonna to start to block them out a little bit. Okay, so then once we start to get our forms built up like this and we started to make them 3D, we are going to start to darken them in. Okay, and I'm gonna stop for a minute um, to bring up a really good tip for y'all. Okay, so when making graffiti form letters here, you want to try to have them cross more at the top. It just makes the letters be able to read better and um, they just register a lot better. Um, and it's just a rule of thumb. Um, it doesn't always work. There will be some things where you're gonna have to have your letters join at the bottom of the letter just because of the way that the letter forms. Um, we'll go over some of those things in the next examples that I give you in the next lesson. I don't have some of the letters joining at the top, but we'll show you how that works out. Um, but remember to try to have them cross at the top. And you can see that all these cross pretty well at the top with the graffiti. It's just a really good tip for you guys to remember and it'll make it go a little bit better. Okay, so let's say that you have your letter forms all figured out and I'm gonna start shading these in so that you can see this one more time. And I'm gonna do this fairly quick so that I don't bore you with me just shading in letters. And then another rule for graffiti too, instead of making a dot for my eye, 
I gave it a little pizza slice or something like that. Just a little bit of embellishment to add a little bit of love to your piece. take your time with forming your letters. Um, this is super important. Um, you wouldn't do a painting without brushes. Well, maybe you would, but um, <laughs> the simple fact of the matter is, is the more time that you take, the better your piece is gonna be and the more that you're gonna be proud of it. So don't rush like I am right now. Okay, so once you've got your outline pieces, you might want to embellish. You might want to give a little bit more weight to your lines. You can figure that out. Then you're gonna start to add color. So I have one here that I started to add color to, and I chose colored pencils to do my color with. Um, like here with the red, I added a little bit of highlight just to bring it out there. Um, my feeling would be is if you're looking at shading for graffiti and you're not feeling super comfortable with it um, and you have access to the internet or you're able to walk down the street and see some nice tags in your neighborhood, take a look at them and take and see how the colors blend. So I definitely tried to blend and give some highlights to my colors. Um, and I chose a color scheme that I liked. Um, we can talk a little bit more about psychology of color, but just pick colors that you like. That would be the best answer I could give you. And here I have one that I worked up a little bit just for time saving, but here you can see that I'm starting to develop drips. And I'll hold this up for you guys too. And little tricks you know, drips, you might look at arrows. So I'm gonna add a couple more things to this piece right now, just to start to make it pop. So one thing that I might start to do is just increase weight on a few lines here, just to give them a little bit more pull or ump and to also set across the color. Another thing, I might add a little bit more of a cast shadow to my drips. And you guys might have some things that you like to put on there. It, typically things that are always added to graffiti. It might be, you might add a cutout, you might do some little balls, you might do a cloud. And then also one really important tip is to always remember that here you can see the two registration lines that I made up top, erase them when you are done and so that they don't show up in your final piece. And again, I challenge you guys to come up with a word that you guys like are your own name and try to develop a style for it and have some fun. Um, again, I really wanna thank you for your time today. This was Mr. G's LOL, Love of Lettering.